morning loves and welcome to this kind of like spend the day with me day in the life vlog i mean not every day is like this this is such a chill day i'm literally gonna stay in the flat all day sort things out i want to move the flat around like do you know when you have it in your head that you want to move all your furniture around that's how i feel today so i've tried to get claudio on board with it he's not been feeling great all week but i'm like let's let's move the flat around today let's make some room i'll show you what i mean later but i just feel like i've got nowhere to film at the minute so this week's been a bit rubbish but we're all on positive vibes today i'm feeling so much better today my skin like i don't know if you can see but wow like my skin i don't know what's wrong with it it's just freaking out this week so i'm probably gonna do like a chill day and i'm gonna put like a little teeny tiny bit of makeup on and just like keep it light i'm gonna do a face mask later put some eye patches on before we start the day because my face is puffy i think because it's so hot in london it's just like my face is retaining water i don't know if that's a thing oh that's a delivery we're gonna have got so many deliveries to open with you today as well just realized my address is on this parcel so i can't show you the box but this is a very exciting new bag that i am going to unbox with you later so i'm just gonna do some work i'm gonna send some emails i love these eye patches because they've got a hydrochloric acid in them so it's like super moisturizing under your eye you know like sometimes when you put concealer on and you have like that little dryness and it like cakes i think this helps with that as well as like obviously making it less puffy so i'm going to send some emails do a little bit of admin and then we're going to do some unboxing so all dressed and ready for the day i mean i should have ironed this really but i'm just around the house today so i'm not gonna iron it and i'm also obviously not gonna put shoes on just got my slippers on and did like a little five minute makeup look because the lightning in here is not the best i just did a just to wake me up a little bit, but I'm not going to put any heat on my hair today, obviously, because I'm just in the house. So let's go and open some parcels. So let's open some parcels together. we got some caramel and bits, ASOS, uh, H&M. H&M is so good at the minute because it's coming into autumn. I love H&M in autumn. I haven't bought anything all summer. Now it's autumn, like coming autumn, winter, I'll be back on H&M. Uh, but first of all, I'm working with Emma on part of this video. So let's do a little Emma unboxing. We actually got these cushions from Emma. This is like memory foam, so it's taken a little bit to like poof up. So I've got the two different types of cushions from them because we actually already had the mattress. So let me tell you this story quickly. So around three years ago, Claudia really, really wanted to buy the Emma mattress and I was against it originally. I was like, we're not buying a new mattress. We've already got a mattress. Why do we need a new one? And he was complaining of his back. He had really bad backs at the time. And every time he'd get up, he'd be like, my back's really hurting, we really need a new mattress. But I was on furlough at the time. I didn't even know if I was gonna have a job the month after and turns out I actually did get laid off my job uh, but then my auntie purchased the mattress and she was telling me how great it is she's like I've just got an Emma mattress it's amazing like like you should get one and then Claudia was like we have to get one he literally asked me for probably around six weeks before I gave in and honestly it was the best thing we ever done like as soon as it came the first night we laid on it I remember us being like oh my god this was the best decision ever I think we actually put it on a credit card at the time we shouldn't it wasn't we weren't in a position to be buying it but honestly it was so 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 good such a good purchase no regrets we've had it for three years now even now like when we go and stay in my parents house claudio hates it he's like i hate the bed our mattress is so much better <laughs> or even like if we go and stay in hotels sometimes when we get back home we literally just lie in bed and we're like our mattress is just so nice like it's just so so comfortable so i've got a discount code to share with you i will pop it on screen now and i also want to tell you that you do get a trial as well so i remember when i purchased it i was a bit worried i was like it's quite a big purchase like what if we don't like it you know obviously everyone's got like different tastes and how comfy a mattress is you get a hundred days trial on this which is so good obviously i don't think you would send it back but if you wanted to i think it's nice to know that you can and then you also have free shipping and collection and 10 years warranty as well which is amazing obviously we've only had ours for three years so we haven't had to use the warranty but i can't imagine we would anyway so let's go and pop these on the bed and then we'll come back and open the rest Just thought I would show you the mattress quickly as well before we leave, just so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is like a cover you can take off and you can actually wash it. So that's why I haven't got a mattress topper on. I used to have a mattress topper, but you can actually unzip this and wash it anyway. So I don't use a mattress topper. And it's just, obviously I can't show you inside, it's just like looks like a mattress, but 
it is super super comfy and we love it I wish I had a huge aesthetically pleasing bedroom, but we've got a one little bedroom flat in London, but we love it and we've done our best with it, even though it's tiny. This is like the most shocking like state I've been in a video in quite some time. But it's been a it's been a rough all week. Okay, let's open this caramel up next. I got this dress online after I saw it. it. Comes in red and comes in black and white. I really wanted the black and white or the red. I didn't know. And I obviously had my friend's wedding, so I was like, oh, maybe I should wear it to the wedding. And I just love the bust on it. I'll show you. I'll also try this on and I'll put a clip in um, whilst I'm talking about it. So I know you obviously want to see it on. <gasps> the colour's just so nice. Oh, it's so nice. How lush is this? I've just got nowhere to wear it now because I wanted to wear it to the wedding. I was like, I had this one, a Dean Marabi, and I didn't know which one to wear. So I thought, oh, let me just order them both, try them on. And then because obviously I didn't get to go to the wedding, they both just been put to a side. I can't even look at them. But I hope I get somewhere else to wear this because, wow. I mean, stunning. Super long. It's got like this bone in, in the front, just to keep it like in shape. The colour, wow, stunning. It's like this tight tight material i think it's called bandage material is it i'm not sure i got it in an extra small and uh, corset detail knit midi dress stunning love this oh, I should, maybe i should have got the black as well i don't know let me know what you think of this whether i should order in the black and send the red back but i do think the red is gonna be really nice i just haven't got anywhere to wear it now but I'll find some way. I'll definitely find some way to wear it. And I absolutely love that. That's stunning. I've actually got loads of bits from Carmen and lately. If you didn't watch my transitional uh, haul, watch it at the end. Because there's a couple of Carmen and bits in there as well. So I ordered this from ASOS. This was actually for who she was supposed to get married in Florida. So I wanted to wear this in Florida just like as one of the nights. But obviously we didn't get to go. I mean, Claudio is basically ill, so we couldn't go. Um, you would have seen me cry about it on Instagram <laughs> if you follow me on there. So I ordered this. I've been actually wanted this for quite some time. Like, it's been a long time I've been fancying this. And I actually sent it to my friend back in, I want to say April, and she bought it for her birthday. So I can wear this in Ibiza because I've got Ibiza in two weeks. So I might still keep it anyway. It does look a little bit short now I've got it out. Like, wow. That is looking very short. So I do not know if that's going to be nice on. But I'll show you a little try on clip. I got it in a size 8. And, oh, this might be a bit small as well. So basically the way it's done, it's like you're supposed to have one shoulder there. And one is like off the shoulder. And it's probably going to be too short i'm looking at it now and i'm thinking it's going to be too short but i hope not because i really like it and i think this will be super cute for my beta as well and then from h&m i got an, a lot of underwear i know this is quite random but i basically saw one of the girls on insta post about how comfy these knickers were and they're just like cotton knickers and i do love cotton knickers so i just bought like loads of packs of them so they have this pack which was just like the darker pack it's like got little pretty flowers on it and i love the like thin sides i just thought that was really cute to be honest they're looking a bit big i should probably should have got a small this is a medium and they're quite stretchy didn't think they would be stretchy so i probably should have got a small and now i've got three packs of the same one i also don't think you can send them to it back you know so i'm stuck with the medium so basically there's this pack like with all darker versions and then i bought the lighter pack as well with like the pretty lighter versions this is the other pack oh it's so cute isn't it like this has got like the little little flowers on it and they just look so comfy although they do look too big low rise thong how comfy and soft i just love cotton i just think it's so so comfortable especially like in the summer and like on holidays and stuff cotton's a winner then i just got these ones as well which are just like lace at the front, but mostly cotton. I don't really like the whole lacy ones, personally. And then I picked up these little pyjamas just because I thought they were cute. So they're like these little short stars on, very soft, feel super soft. And I just thought they'd be nice in the winter, cozy, go my slippers. I buy so much pyjamas, it's actually shocking. Like the amount of pyjamas I've got in this house is 
no one's business i buy way way too much pajamas and they just come in this like little crop top it's not cotton it says recycled polyester but it does feel super soft but claudia's got a habit of shrinking all my pajamas i literally buy pajamas from the white company whenever they're on sale i always buy tons of them and the man shrinks everything like i don't know how he does it but every time i put a pair of my pajamas on i'll pull it down and i'll be like you've shrunk my pajamas again and he's like how am i doing it every time it's only my pajamas that shrinks all my clothes is fine just the pajamas so I also want to show you these two outfits from House of CB I got from Ibiza. Let me know your thoughts. I love them. It is, one of them is super short. Let me, let me get and show you. So this is the little dress. I mean, I loved it when it came in. I was like, this is, oh my God, stunning. Oh, it's just so pretty and it's so pretty on, but it is very short. Obviously I'm 5'10". It's a struggle, I'm not going to lie. Like, it's, it's a holiday dress. I don't think I'd be comfy wearing this in London. But it is so pretty. I am keeping it and I will be wearing it in Ibiza. And then we got this cord. I don't know if I'd be too hot in Ibiza with this. So it's like a little skirt. And it's got um like thing down the front, like a little button detailing. So nice. And then you've got the little crop top that goes with it that I'll actually be able to wear with jeans as well, like as a jeans and cute top vibe. It's got like little buttons down the front, so nice on as well. And it's just like this nice heavy weighted material. I just don't know if I beat it'll be a bit hot, like with this material, because it is quite heavy. Oh look, it's got a little detail up the sleeve as well, love. Love that. So do you think I can wear this and I beat in the night? And then probably this would be in the night as well, because it's quite dressy for the day. So that is it for the parcel. Oh no, how could I forget? We've got the cocoon parcel, my new rental bag. Let me go and get that. How did I nearly forget this? I was literally so excited for this to come this morning. So this is from Cocoon. The way it comes, just like in a normal box, doesn't come in a fancy box, just like a normal cardboard box. And then every month I get a new, I just rent a different one. So that's why on my Insta sometimes you'll see like loads of different handbags. And sometimes I get questions like, how do you own so many handbags? I'm like, hands, they're not mine. Trust me, I own like two designer handbags and my Dior bag's actually in Paris getting fixed because it's broke so at the minute i've only got like one pra uh, prada black one so it's a massive struggle so i do want to buy a new one maybe on my birthday this year um but we'll see i've been trying i don't really spend that much oh this is exciting so this is the balenciaga and i've actually wanted to try one of these bags for a long time so it comes like just in a box and then obviously you've got the tissue paper and I'm really excited about this because I, I've never owned, obviously, one of these bags. And I thought it would be cute for Ibiza. How nice is it? Wow, it's so pretty. Oh my God, how lush is that? Like, for Ibiza, I think this is an Ibiza bag. Like, for the night. I mean, I could be wrong, but wow, it's the mini version. So it's actually, if I was gonna buy it, maybe I would buy this version or the one up, but probably this version, because I do like smaller bags. It's, this, it's like this snake skin print. Let me get up what it's actually called. Balenciaga small hourglass top handle bag in Python print. How nice is it? So imagine now when I be there, when I've got like my white outfits on. Let me grab that. Where is that white outfit? And then I've got the, the black and white bag or even like a black outfit and the black and white bag. I mean, I love this. Do you know what? It's actually bigger than I thought as well. Like, it does look bigger so normally they would just pop the um shoulder strap inside the bags and it's actually quite roomy like it's looking like i can fit quite a lot of stuff in there and what i love about cocoon is the bags come like brand new like this literally looks like it's barely ever been used and it comes you have it for a month you decide whether you like it you give it a proper test run send it back and then get something else like for me Obviously I can't afford to buy tons and tons of designer bags. So this is a perfect way to sort of have them and then send them back and get a new one and get to try them all and wear them all because I love bags. They're literally my favorite thing. So my phone fits in there as well, perfectly. Like so much room. I feel like that's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. And yeah, I'm not working with Cocoon on the video or anything. Like I'm not, I have worked with them in the past on Instagram, but this is not an ad or anything. I just thought it'd be nice to show you the bag I got. So wow, this one's coming to Ibiza with me definitely and I am in love with this. I don't think this is the type of bag I would buy though, just because it's so 
Unless I wear a tan, we'll see. But that's what's so good about it. Like, you can genuinely see how much you would wear it. Like, I had the Louis Vuitton one. You would have saw on my Instagram, like, the little circle one last month. Didn't even want to give it back. They emailed me, they're like, it's time to choose your new bag. And I was like, oh, I didn't even want to, like, leave it go. But it was just so small. I couldn't fit anything in it. And actually, I was, like, as I was wearing it, I loved it. I added loads to outfits. But I was thinking, you know... Is they were like, can I actually buy this bag? This doesn't fit anything in it. I had to hold my phone the entire time when I had the bag. So I was like, you know, I'm not going to buy that one. So um, time to take this one out for a little test drive this month. Definitely coming to Ibiza with me. Could be my only bag I take if I can just match all the outfits around it. <laughs> That'd be interesting to see if I can do that. And then, yeah, the shoulder strap is just in you. you just wear it like around your shoulder, which is good, I think, for a holiday because you don't want to be carrying it sometimes. When you're having a dance, you know, when you want to have a little dance, nice to put it over your shoulder. That is it for the unboxing. And that's like all my parcels, they're everywhere now. Like it's such a mess. I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, let's go and put these away. And then let's try and get Claudia to help me move this living room around. So this is our current living space. Ignore all that because I just showed you, obviously, the unboxing. I sometimes film in the corner here. This is where my rail is there. But I've, uh, the thing is broke. It's not the best light. The best light would be to film you. But obviously the sofa's there. So we're gonna try and move the sofa into the corner there and then see if I can leave this space open for filming. Bless Claudio, like I literally just wanna rearrange our living room so I've got a better position to film in, but he's agreed to it, thankfully. So we're gonna give it a go. finally the memory card ran out so couldn't keep going with the zoomed up zoomed up <laughs> fastened up footage but yeah this is how it looks this is what we've made ourselves like a little living area any suggestions on what i can put you please in the comments let me know because i need something under there obviously i've got a book there which i think looks quite cool but i definitely need something on that bottom shelf so yeah, this is the little sitting area we've made and I'm really happy with it, like we both are. We're both surprised that we're happy with it. And obviously we've got the desk over there and this plate, I had a little bit more bread and some aubergine earlier. So I am going to start working there now shortly and this is where my new space to film is going to be. So yeah, it's so much more space and so much more light, like this is so much brighter than my other space uh, because this is like the way the light directly comes. So I'm really excited to start filming here next week. I mean, don't mind my shoes, I'm going <laughs> to, I usually put them under the bed. But um, sometimes I get lazy and leave them there. So yeah, we're really happy with it. We've got the mirror on this side, which I love. So I can do like daily outfits without moving everything around. Because before, I literally had to move every single thing around just to get like an outfit video. So yeah, all done. Hope you enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Claudio was bashing and clanging in the kitchen. <laughs> He's making dinner now. Like <laughs> We're both starving. I'm going to go and edit this vlog and Claudio's going to make dinner. See you next week.